welcome back to Wildwood Cottage and welcome back to my diary of um, my life here in Wales. I just like to do little bits and bobs throughout the week just to show you what I'm up to. And today, excuse me a sec, just put my copper down. Today we are going to be tackling the yard because it's really getting on my nerves. It's a real mess, it's a real tip. And uh, I'll just turn you around and show you. I think I showed you this in one of my videos last week. And uh, it's about time that it was sorted out, ready for the spring. Because I've got bulb bulbs coming through. And uh, it's just a general mess. The wind blows everything around. The wind comes straight down that hill over there. And uh, through the trees at the side there. Straight across the hill. And it uh, blows all the rubbish around the yard and across the field. So it's about time it was tidied up and sorted out. There's a load of moss over in that corner over there. I've got lots of bulbs coming out over here. And in that tub there. Which didn't come up last year. But they seem to be coming through this year. And uh, just general messiness. Those uh, grey thing over there is my rocket stove. I'd like to redo that and see if I can build that somewhere else so I can get to it easier. Um, those bricks there are to go up to the greenhouse, ready for the base on the greenhouse. And I was thinking from the barbecue along there, now we've got access to our drain over the wall in that new patch of garden. I was thinking of doing a raised bed along there and using it for growing vegetables because I've got lots of pallets and lots of bricks and lots of logs so I thought if I keep filling it with leaves and keep filling it with rubbish I can uh, grow some veggies in it so that's my thought for there I need to find somewhere for the chickens in the winter so I'm thinking of that corner over there of maybe doing an area that can be emptied out at the end of the summer and move the chickens in because it's all on concrete this really big thick bed of concrete and uh, it'll just make life a lot easier for me being able to get up and see them so yeah I think I might pop them there because they're out of the rain and uh, yeah they'll be out of the wind as well and also they'll get a bit of sunshine when the sun's out so I'm either thinking of putting them there or popping them there but uh, we shall see we shall see when we get there but for now I just want to tidy all this mess up and uh, sort it out. So on this wall here, which is where the scaffolding was that I showed you last week, I'm going to be putting all my fruit trees, things that can be trained. And uh, I might get my husband to put up some wire for me, and then I can train them along the wall, away from the wall, but along the wall. And then they can be moved when uh, we need to get to the wall to paint it, because it's going to have to be painted in the next couple of years. It was painted when we moved in two and a half years ago. It needs doing every five years. If it needs painting every five years. But that's what's in the lease anyway. So yeah I need to try and sort this area out. I'm going to do that today. And I thought you could have a look with me. So let's see what we can find. And let's see what we're going to be doing. Right. So as you can see there's a lot I've got to do. And uh, the job I was going to do today, it's been far too cold to do it. I was going to do the base on the greenhouse, but the ground's still frozen. So I thought this would be a job that we could do and uh, get done, get tidy for the spring. And uh, yeah, we can just generally get a move on because t time's marching on. It's February. All the spring bulbs are coming through. All the shoots are starting to reappear. And I don't want to get caught out and be behind on my jobs. So I thought instead of doing the, the greenhouse, the polytunnel, I'm going to do this instead. So I'll put the camera down, turn you around, and uh, we'll time lapse it and you can see how it turns out. So I'll turn you around and you can have a look. Right, so this one here, my Bray Burn apple, it is a U Garden one, it's a Bray Burn. I think it's a miniature. So it won't grow any more than two and a half metres. It's starting to get some nice buds on it now. Let me just show you them. Nice buds. Where are we? There's a nice bud there. A nice one here. On the end there. Now I did have fruit on this last year. Not a lot. But I did get fruit. But I'm thinking of putting that in the garden. Um and let it grow away in the garden and put another fruit tree in here so I think I'm just going to move it over to the wall 
and then sort it out when it's not as cold, when it's not frozen. I forgot to bring my little chair in in the winter and it started to rot again. Sadly the back is separated. So I'm going to put that in the garage and try and fix it up. It's fallen to bits but uh, we might be able to do something with it because I've still got the geraniums that are to go in it there in the porch. So also what I thought I'd show you is, excuse the mess, is this tree here. It's got little shoots here down the bottom and I've been doing some research and this used to be a plum. No it didn't, it used to be a peach tree and it blossomed once and never did anything and I think it's dead on the top. Yeah, completely dead on the top. So what I'm thinking is, is leaving the height and growing something up it but down the bottom here there is lots of branches and there's some new shoots. I don't know whether you can see them. Down here, lots of branches and some new shoots. And it's got leaves on. So what I'm thinking of doing is clearing out all this mess. There is things growing in here. It's not just mess. There's geraniums in here. But uh, as you can see, there's quite a good cluster of branches. Now I believe this is a tree called a St Julian's uh, underneath. And I don't know enough about it, but what I thought was is if I take the top, sort the top out, excuse me, sort this top branch out here and let this stuff at the bottom grow up and uh, see what we end up with. If we just end up with a nice looking tree then it'll be an asset, it'll be a bonus. But uh, we might also end up with an extra fruit tree. Now I don't know what St Julian's is, I think it's a peach, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so yeah, we just have to see. I don't know whether you can see, but there's a daffodil bulb there. Look at that. Nice and fat. So there's quite a, a lot of daffodils down there. So this plant is going to go round here. And what I thought was, this is a dual plum tree. Those ones I got off you Garden. This one here. This is our woodshed. So what I thought was, I'm going to move this one to here in the middle here and I'm going to put that one I've just shown you where that is. Now this is growing quite tall and quite leggy so it needs a bit of a prune but it's doing really really well. So yeah that one's going to move to there. I may put it under my workshop window over there once that pile of wood is moved. It'll be rather nice over there and uh, I can grow it then along the wall, which would be a lot better, I think. But uh, I don't want to move that wood today, so it can just go here. So I'm going to put that other plant there and then move that one there. So if I move you out, you can see what I'm going to do. Sorry, the tripod's not straight. Let's see if we can straighten you up a bit. How's that? It's better, isn't it? This pot's got bulbs in and I think it's got nerine in it and it looks like a verbenum or something or a verbena of some sort. So I'll clean that out and we'll pop that over the other side. Actually, it's not nerine, it's agapanthus. So that can move over the other wall. This one here has got tulips and daffodils in it so that one can go back over there. Sorry, I think the forestry around in a helicopter I'm not sure what this one is. I'll just move that to one side for a minute. And I'm not sure what this one is either. I need to give the place a bit of a brush, I think. So we'll go and get the brush.
heard that one coming. Along here is my water butts and they catch the water off the roof there so I'm leaving them there because they're nicely tucked out of the way and easy to get to. Got another couple of water carriers there for when the weather's really hot which it does get really hot here and then I've got that tree stump that I showed you just a few minutes ago and I don't know whether you can see there's lots of nice new growth on that so I'm going to leave it and cut this bit off and let this grow and we'll see what we end up with so I'm just going to let that grow through the summer and then I'll take that bit off um, not sure what this is but I thought I'd leave it in the pot and see if it's worth putting in the ground um, I've got a box here which I thought I could shape so I'm going to leave that to grow there I brought that from uh, two houses ago and I've never known what to do with it so yeah we'll see what we can do with it that little pot there has got an uh, agapanthus in it so I've lifted that up to see if I can get that to grow because something's been nibbling at it I don't know whether you can see someone's been nibbling I found this which is a flowering currant I think um, so I'm going to put that in the soil because I know that that will grow in the ground this here is that plum tree I was showing you and there's some nice new growth on these bits here just here so these are going to come back nicely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that there for the time being and then when all that's moved in the next couple of weeks I'm going to pop it there and grow it along that wall there I think that'll be really nice and put a little uh, garden area over there because I want to grow uh, potatoes in bags so that might be a good place for them to go as well so I might put them around that over there I've also got peaches to get to come out and I've got apricots to come out so we've still got quite a bit going on just noticed I've got some bulbs let's move these bits out of the way there's so much rubbish unbelievable these are our uh, lilies in here in the summer nice big trumpet lilies white ones like a creamy white so uh, there's some daffodils and some snowdrops there so I'm going to leave them to come out to grow up um, and we've got some tulips in this one so I'll be able to see them from the house and then where the bird table is let's move all this rubbish as well this is my bird table and it was the elderly gentleman's bird table um, when we moved in so he always used to put nuts and things like that out and the fat off the uh, pork and things like that I mean there's the old place as well that he used to have so pop that down there so I think I'm going to bring this back into use I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet whether it's going to be plants or for the birds but it's nice to be able to see that again and then underneath we've got some tulips some daffodils. I've got some uh, rockery plant growing here and um, so I think I'm going to leave that for the time being and let that grow and pop that into some pots. I've also got some bulbs as well. Um, I'm not sure what that is so I'm going to leave it for the time being and see what that is. I think it may be um, a tree but we shall see. And then in this one we've got some more bulbs and another nerine which is a summer bulb so we'll leave that there's a sycamore growing there we don't want that so yeah I think as well I've got another agapanthus in there as well I think that's what this is here I don't know whether you can see but there's a shoot here and that looks to me like an agapanthus so I'm going to leave that in there for the time being while we see what it is because there's a couple of things growing around it so Yep, we'll leave that for now. So I'm happy with this area now. I'll just stand back and let you see. Right, my battery died, so I'm on my phone now. Um, yeah, this is the area that I've done this afternoon. There was a lot of rubbish in there. I'll just turn you around and show you what we got out. I got that much rubbish out of just that corner. So all that can go in the compost bin and uh, be rotted down. And I've still got that area there, that area there, 
and over there to sort out. I've started moving the trees over onto that wall there. So when they fill up with green, that'll get rid of all, a lot of the white. And hopefully they won't grow any higher than the window. So that'll be useful. Sorry about the noise. The uh, jets have decided to, to play about. And then the other bit I've got to sort out is this mess here. And what I'm thinking of doing here is a raised bed and uh, herbs. So I can come out of the kitchen, cut some herbs and uh, use them in my cooking. So there's this bit under the window here to tidy up as well. That's that thing there is a lawnmower. It's a push along one I got free on our local Facebook marketplace, our local swap shop. So I've got those few plants there to sort out. So it's coming together. So I'm going to carry on and then the next time I come back, hopefully it'll all be finished and I'll be able to show you what it looks like. So yeah, it's a bit messy, but it's getting there. This is the bit we've finished today and that bit in the corner over there. So I'm very happy with how that's turned out. So Hi everyone, it's day two of um, my clean up of the yard and uh, I just thought I'd show you how it was looking. Yesterday was a busy day and uh, I got a lot done but I've been working on it most of the morning and uh, it's nearly finished. So I'll just turn you around and show you what it's looking like. I'm really pleased with it. It's looking a lot better. It's looking a lot bigger and uh, I can see now what I want to do and where I want to do it. So I'll just turn you around and show you. Right, this is the area where the little pond was by the door and I found loads of bulbs so I've spread them all out in their little pots and then al along here I've done my trees, my fruit trees and my eucalyptus tree I'm not going to let that get any higher than it is so I need to cut the top off but uh, I've put my little bath here, my little tin bath and that's got bulbs in it as well it's got crocosmia and gladiolis and a few other bits and bobs in there We've got some hyacinths in that pot there and some miniature tulips and daffodils in that one and the same in that one and daffodils in that one. So, oh look, the fish has come up to say hello, look. Don't see it very often, but uh, you must like the nice weather. So, I've got a geranium in the bottom of that one and a sedum, which is the eucalyptus, which is this one here. And then I've got some more miniature tulips in that one. And I think there's alliums in that one, which they don't come out till the summer. And then this is the jewel plum tree. This is the grey burn apple. And again, there's lots of bulbs coming through in there. And then this is a sage, which I found over by the wall. So I've decided to put that where it'll get full sun, because it's getting very wet and very gnarly. It's very old. It's about 25 years old. It's one of the first things I ever bought. And, uh, yeah, probably about 25 years ago. 1996 I bought it, so however long ago that was. That's one of the first things I ever did. Um, this one here is a lilac, and that grows 7 metres tall. And it's got purple flowers on it, so I'm, not, I'm going to be, keep it in the pot and uh, keep it trimmed on the top so it doesn't get too big. This is another jewel plum tree that was around the corner by the window. And then we've got some more bulbs in this one. I think I took a fruit tree out of here, so I might put another one in there and use the pot. Maybe put a peach or, yeah, I'll probably put a peach in there. That's a St John's Wort Hypericum. And then I've got another bath full of bulbs, full of summer bulbs. And I've just found these. My mum gave me a palm tree last year, a couple of palm trees. And they've started sprouting again, so I'm cultivating palm trees. So I'm going to leave them for the time being. And then round the corner, under the window, tidied this area up as well and found a lot more path and grass. So I've taken all the grass away up to the edge of the path. And then i put these nice metal troughs um, out with bulbs in. They've got lots of bulbs. They've got tulips and hyacinths and daffodils in them. Then this is the old chimney pot that came off the roof. And that's got a geranium in it. And this one is a pear tree, I think, and I might put that in the garden. But it can stay there for the time being. I found some basket willow as well here, which is rooted in the water. 
So I'm going to put that somewhere. Um, this here is a perennial cornflower and there's some other bits and bobs in there as well. So I'm just going to leave that for the time being and see what happens. This is a bucket that the bottom fell out of. I might see if we do something decorative with that. Um, and then this patch here has all been cleared now. So that's one side of the barbecue between the barbecue and this cotone aster and I'm thinking of putting a raised bed there because the soil's hot, the concrete's horrible I'm short of putting new concrete down I don't really know what else to do with it so I thought I might uh, put a raised bed in there with some logs so that's that, so that's what all this soil's going to go to I'm going to go and find myself some logs and use that as the soil for the base so that's going to go there and then that's the area I did yesterday so I'll just show it, turn you around this is one side of the barbecue. I've still got to move the bricks, but I'm thinking of putting a raised bed along there and moving my rocket stove. I may put the rocket stove further down that way. I have a feeling my husband's still one going to hop over the wall, so even though we've got access to our drain at the bottom of the wall, he doesn't like having to walk around. So I'm going to have to leave him away so he can get his ladders in and hop over the wall. So, But the concrete there is terrible. And I don't want to have to get new concrete and I don't know what else to do with it so I think I'm just going to pop a raised bed down there and uh, let the plants do their thing. So yeah I'm going to go roughly from that bin lid along there to where the barbecue is and uh, maybe do vegetables and fruit. So this is the corner we did yesterday, it's looking all nice now, nice and tidy. So I'm really pleased with it. It's looking a lot better. We can see the bird table and I put my fruit in the corner. So that's looking good now, nice and tidy. Tidied all the concrete. So there's one corner and then it's all been tidied. So I've just got to pick up the piles of soil. I'm going to put them in my, blue, in my green cart and then when I build one of the raised beds I'll plunk it all in there and use it as compost. So yeah, so that's good. So I think that's it for the yard for now. Um, I won't come back and show you it finished. I'll show you it when I've done the raised beds and I'll show you it once the uh, things start leafing up and greening up and then you can see what it's looking like. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to go and get on with the polytunnel now. I'm getting a bit, a bit bored with doing the yard now. So I'm going to leave this for today and carry on with it tomorrow because the weather's set to be nice again tomorrow. So I'm going to go and get on with the polytunnel now and uh, try and level off all the base and start the base this afternoon because it's only about 2 o'clock so I've got another 3 hours of daylight yet. I put the tea in, we've got bolognese for tea and that's in the Dutch oven in the oven, in the log burner. So yeah, I'm just going to go and get my coffee. Shall I show you the view? Look at the view today. Isn't it lovely? So yeah, we're having a lovely spring day and... Uh, I'm really enjoying being outside so no sewing for today I'm not doing any dress making because it's too nice to be stuck indoors I'll try and do that next week when uh, we're forecast rain so I'll see you soon have a good week if you do like my videos please do like and subscribe and please do hit that notification bell and it will tell you when I upload new videos so take care for now have a good week and I'll see you soon bye for now bye bye